fine. I'll do it, fine, I'll build the skinny house in The Sims. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's this like trend going on, I guess, about this skinny house, the pie house, as some people call it. This person on TikTok made a video showing off the skinny house in their neighborhood, kind of making fun of it because it looks so weird and small from the outside. Like one of the sides of the house is only three feet wide. And so people are kind of losing their minds at this. I mean, look, it's really weird, right? This side in the back is a little bit wider, but the inside actually looks like really big and spacious. But you can see this side of the house, it widens out. Now, the thing about this and building it in The Sims is that it's not exactly possible, but we can try. Let me explain. Now, in The Sims, our options are a little bit more limited than in real life, obviously. We're working on a grid system, and in real life, you can put walls on whatever angle you want, but in The Sims, we only have the angles they give us. You can't really have that same house the way you might want to, because in because the skinny house kind of goes like that, you know? Whereas in The Sims, it goes like that. And the skinny house is not that big. <laughs> <laughs> the skinny house is skinny because you'd kind of want it to be like this, right? And then have that line drawn, maybe there. So I'm not really sure what the best way to do this is. Maybe if you did it like this, at least it would look right from the front and like from this angle, you know? But it just is kind of impossible to get that skinny house the same as you'd want it in real life. You know what's kind of funny is now it's like done. All right, guys, I built the skinny house in The Sims. <laughs> the reason I'm doing this is because so many people were like, oh my God, Kayla, you have to build this. I've built so many like dumb houses houses like this, like I built just a straight up triangle house and then I made an octagon and then I made a duck and like, we've, we've done a bunch of dumb sims builds like this and with this house being so like viral right now, everybody was like, Kayla, please, I, people have been tweeting me, they were emailing me, please God, don't email me. And it is funny and I, I think it makes for a, a good build. I mean, good's probably a strong word. <laughs> you know what? This is a nice build. <laughs> Do you know what's so sad? If we try and make this as like accurate as possible, I mean, imagine on this side of the house, we put like one window and one one door. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm not even worried about it. They've got a fence too. It's kind of like a beige fence. I don't know what their door looks like. This is really gonna be something else. <laughs> oh no. The front of it is so weird too because they've kind of got this like fake sort of facade on the front. Like they've just put like a column down, right? Also the windows have green shutters and they've got three of them. Oop, that's not gonna work. Honestly, we'll make it, we'll make it look good. <laughs> I'm not concerned about that part. I think it might need to be wider. Like, I kind of feel like the skinny house is... Yeah, that's better. That's the thing with this kind of build where it's just kind of fiddly. Like, we're gonna sit here and just kind of adjust a little bit until we get it right. And then it kind of just is done. <laughs> they have, like, a beige exterior. And then this part is a little bit different. They've got, like, some shingles on the front where the door goes. One window there. Pretty front door there. <laughs> oh, it's got a porch. It has a step up. Honestly, I think that kind of helps. Although, I guess we can't tell on the back because, like, the back of the house has the fence blocking that view. Is it, like, a stone step? What if we just had the one step? I don't know how much step they need. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I think that makes more sense. Do you know what else is weird? I don't really understand like how the roof works. Like, I wish I could see it from the top down because it looks to me a little bit like the roof is just like that. But like that can't be right. Surely. Right, like there's no way that that's all it is. I wish that we could get the angle better. And that part makes me sad because like it's not gonna be right, you know? We'll, we'll never be just right. <laughs> Okay, they do have like a trim around the top, kind of like that. Oh no, it's, it's not kind of like that, hang on. It does not go in the front, so it's kind of like that. And then like, that's the skinny house, you know? <laughs> that's what it looks like. They do have a tree, not bamboo, sorry, <laughs> false alarm. They do have a tree like there. I think another tree like over here. I think it's gonna be kind of fun to try and mimic the landscaping. Oh, that's not gonna work. See, the trees that we have are like too big. Cause they've got a couple trees there, but they aren't as, as big and tall as ours. That's okay. The path way kind of looks like that. <laughs> I actually really like this. I do wish I could see the top. Do they have like a top? I give up. I'm just gonna wing it. I don't even care. <laughs> we have two images and we're basing it off of those. Oh, you know what else? They've got like a light just above the door like that. They also have like a bigger, like maybe an oak tree type one, like right here. No, not like that. Maybe this one is a better fit. I'm just trying to like match this as best I can. I don't know where the windows are or what the floor plan looks like. And also my internet just went down so I can't even look it up. <laughs> like these are the pictures 
characters that we have. We have these two that I already opened and that's it. I don't think I'm gonna find the like drone footage of the top of this house that I'm looking for. I'm like trying to find pictures on my phone. It's just not. I don't know what the texture of the top of the house looks like is the problem because all the angles of the house are from like down here. So I can't see what the top looks like, which doesn't really matter in real life, but like kind of matters in The Sims because you look at the house from like wider upper angles constantly. Okay, they also have mulch down, which I guess this is a mulch texture. I've never used this terrain paint in The Sims. So I guess there's a first time for everything, but they don't even really have any plants like right here. It's just mulch. <laughs> They've got some plants more around this way though. That looks about right. <laughs> oh, the mailbox. That goes right there. I cannot believe that my internet went out. <laughs> I like went to Google to find some pictures of the house because I have just the one article open and then it like wouldn't load anything. And I was like, could, could anything else go wrong right now? Look at this. I'm trying to get into Discord. It said no. Like I just, this is a disaster. <laughs> it's fine. I didn't want to see anything anyway. The other problem here is that like the bushes we have aren't that realistic like to real bushes that exist in real life. So a lot of these like smaller bushes and stuff, we can't really achieve that very easily. I'm kind of looking at those flowers and putting something down. I put like a low lying bush all along the back. They've got like little figurines in the yard we could put and they've like got a dog there. We could put that somewhere. Okay, so I'm kind of just winging it. I don't I can't tell what that sort of flower is. So I put those looks like there could be another one right there Maybe it'd be better if we just use the daisies because they're like less invasively colorful <laughs> Yeah, the bush options we have are are really not great for this thoughts on that I don't think it looks that good in the sims But like we're just trying to match what it looks like in real life, right? Honestly this like fake facade on the front of the house is kind of like big brain Like I I think that's pretty smart. I think that makes the house look a lot better They sort of defined that entryway that you would have otherwise. Okay, they have like little dog statues. I could use this. We have a few different colors of him too. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, we can put him over here too. I can make like a bigger one and put it right here. <laughs> it's so ugly. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. We get these like little skinny dog statues and put them everywhere. It's not quite what their house looks like, but you know what? It's the best we can do with what we've got. So <laughs> they can have that. So this part over here is kind of like where the driveway and stuff is. So they would have more of like a, a pathway up there. I just don't know if that's a good idea or not because it's like the edge of our lot. I guess we could just put a pathway up there. We can kind of pave this area. That works, that fits my, my vibes. <laughs> that fits the vision. I think they like also then have another fence in like an actual yard fenced in, but I can't really tell. I'm on the Zillow listing on my phone. I'm not kidding. Like I got it because this is the best that I can do. Why is this house so weird? There are also no pictures of the staircase. So I got no idea how to do that. But this is a bathroom in their house. It looks like there's like a closet there. And again, ours is like much wider than theirs. Like theirs kind of cuts off. So we have a lot more space in The Sims to do this. But then they have some couches here. The kitchen is back in this corner. Or I guess there's like a doorway. Oh dear. So maybe, <laughs> where's the staircase? I'm like looking at my phone like I don't understand where does the staircase go? The staircase has to be back there. Like the stairs have to be like here. Someone that lives in this house is gonna be like, actually? <laughs> or you're all in the comments gonna be like, well, actually? and then try and correct me. At least the outside looks right, okay? You can sit here and make fun of me all you want, but I did the outside. So how about the stairs go like that? That is a extreme waste of space. <laughs> Does not make sense. As far as I can tell, there are two bedrooms as well, but I have literally no idea how the upstairs is laid out. I cannot tell from the pictures. I'm gonna assume we got like a bedroom, you know, here. <sighs> what if we did it like this? <laughs> You know what? I like it. I think that looks really good. Master bedroom, second bedroom, bathroom. Skinny hallway. It's fitting for the skinny house. They can even have like a couple windows in the hallway for all I care. Yeah, you're welcome. You get windows. I know, I'm just so generous. That's a terrible spot for a window. Can you put that somewhere else? This is a waste of space back here, but like, I don't know how to do it otherwise. <laughs> I'm sorry it's so dark in here. Let me put some lights down in a second. Okay, that's better. That's more like it. Now we can see. <laughs> okay, it looks like this part is like open there. I don't know what goes here. Maybe we could put laundry there. Oh, we could put laundry there. That would be smart. I don't know what they've got, <laughs> but we're gonna have laundry. They also kind of have like a yellowy toned wood 
wood, so you get that. I'm sorry. Oh, I think one of the bedrooms has carpet. Yeah, one of the bedrooms has brown carpet. So that's a terrible choice. Yeah, there's like kind of a beigey linoleum looking tile in the bathrooms. I think it's cute. I still really like the outside, to be honest. I'm like really quite pleased with this. Okay, so in this bathroom downstairs, this is like the easiest room to do, so we'll do it first. They got a little pedestal sink, big mirror above it, toilet over there. Oh God, that is not good. Toilet there. They have like some purple flowers on top of the toilet seat. Should we put those too? I don't even know if we can like make that work. Wait, imagine we put like this in purple up there. This works. Listen, I am trying to have the most accurate skinny house possible and that is what it looks like. So that's what they're gonna get. There's another dog in here. I can see it in the bottom corner. These people love their little dog statues. They've got a little dog statue right there. <laughs> <laughs> There's some sort of painting. I can't really tell what it looks like. So I'll just put one there and that as far as I can tell is the entire bathroom We're basing this off the listing So like we're obviously missing a lot of the other sides of the walls Like I don't know what's in this corner All I can see from the listing is like oh, it's a terrible angle But I can see like that much from the listing, you know So I'm just trying to wing it a little bit to see it will never be perfect <laughs> It is physically impossible. See I also like what do they put in their closet? I don't know they're gonna get a broom though. What is it called? I want the like laundry day broom. Clean sweep it's called. Okay, well, this is their broom closet. We could put like the decorations box. It's like their Christmas decorations. There we go, perfect. Plenty of storage in here. <laughs> I don't really understand why they furnish the house the way that they have, if I'm being honest with you. It also needs like more wall space. Like there needs to be more wall here before the windows start. Our scale is all off. They have like this thing. They got a TV on the wall. They have some black leather sofas. <laughs> Ooh. I feel bad. I shouldn't judge their, their furnishing choices. That's rude. But the thing is they have like two of them, but our house doesn't fit that. <laughs> like we don't have the space for two. We can't have both of them here. I guess we could just wing it and like make it look better in the Sims because that's all we have to work with. Theirs is so much smaller. Like the space looks more like this. Like the wall should be like here. I guess we could do that. We could like cut it off. We could cut it off way sooner if we wanted to. Maybe we should do that. Well, now the bedrooms are really small. <laughs> oh no. Can't intersect with walls. Oh, this one. Okay, you know what? I feel like that makes a lot more sense. It is the skinny house after all. Like, <laughs> it's meant to be skinny. Um, I'm not sure if that bathroom will work. I don't know if your sims can get in that door. I guess we could like adjust it. Hallway is a weird shape now, but at least it works. <laughs> at least it's functional. And we can still fit a double bed in these rooms, right? No, the layout is like all off. We like cannot fit a double bed in these rooms. Oh no. I feel like the house being more skinny is better, but the floor plan's just not gonna work. The scale of the Sims is so off. Like, I don't know how we would fix it. So we'll just furnish the rooms however it works, I guess. All right, I'm kind of winging it right now because they have like a full on second couch, like on that wall, but our kitchen has to go here. So I'm kind of like <laughs> trying to fit in an extra chair while not getting rid of the kitchen. None of this makes sense. <laughs> the house needs to be bigger. Okay, you know what did work out perfectly is that window I had placed up there was in the perfect spot because the sink needs to go right there and it works. So I'm kind of proud of myself for that one because I just winged it and I was right with my guess. There's supposed to be like a little tiny skinny, like I feel like in real life, this house, it's kind of more like this and there's like a little skinny counter right there, but that's not how it works in The Sims. So we kind of have to to make do with what we've got. They also have a microwave with a stove, but we can't do that in The Sims either. I guess we'll just put like a vent hood and pretend. See folks, that right there is a microwave. <laughs> no, it has to be a smaller cabinet. Okay, that's a microwave. Yes. Mm hmm Also, like for example, this cabinet always has like the dishes in it. Their cabinet does not do that, but we can't change that. <laughs> so we're limited by a lot of things with the Sims. And they have a table like right here. We can't fit that there. So we'll put our table here. They've got like, it's like a bar height table and they have like black bar stools at it. I don't know if I agree with these design choices they've made. <laughs> you know, the more I look at it, the more I'm like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. But it looks kind of like that. This is more of a reddish color but I don't know if we can pull that off. I guess we could do that. Th this color of this table is right, by the way, and there's no rug. They have like a chess table right here. We could put our chess table over here. I'm trying to like tick all the boxes, even though we just don't have the space to do it. Ah, it's not gonna work, is it? Because they have to walk through here. Maybe we can't have it. Let's, let's stick to our laundry plan. I'm gonna give them a sink even. <laughs> I like it. I think it looks good. If only I could see the stairs in their house. I wanna know what it's like so bad. 
Like, I'm so curious. I feel like it's unfair that I can't see. I'm jealous and I want to know. All right, that's a really unfortunate window placement right there. I guess we could scoot it over. Oh, that's weird. Let's get rid of that tiny corner too. I didn't even see that. I hate this. <laughs> I feel so stuck too. I like don't know what to do about it. Oh, they've got another dog in the corner. <laughs> see, for them, like, this is different because, again, we're working with a grid in The Sims, so in real life, there's kind of, like, the equivalent of maybe, like, this column. Um, like, it kind of comes off the wall. It, like, the wall comes out the tiniest bit, and then, like, this one is a little bit farther over. Like, it'd be, like, on the half tile instead, but we can't do half tiles like that in The Sims, so we're kind of stuck with it just looking like this. But they've got, like, another one of the dogs, like, right there. I'm not sure if your Sims can walk through that still. I think they can. I guess we'll playtest it later. I'm feeling really inclined to put a desk in here. Here. I don't know if they actually have a desk in here in real life. Maybe they could have a laptop. <laughs> we, we don't have the space for a full-on computer. I just know that like if you're gonna actually play in this house in The Sims, you'll probably need a desk and a computer, so we might as well put one in. I also want a rug here really badly, but we can't have one because they don't have one, but it doesn't look good. They have kind of like a stone backsplash, but they also have a light gray wall, which could basically pass as white, so I'll just do that. It's impossible to get the tone right with these things. You know, you'll never get there. It's not gonna work. Maybe like that stone backsplash? I can't really tell from the tiny picture I'm looking at on my phone. I'm like, is that right? I'm trying to be a little bit um, careful about the, the items that I'm placing down here because there's not that much counter space and I'm not sure if your Sims can use this one to cook. I think they can, but the chair is kind of cutting it close. So I'm trying to be careful with like putting decorations in here because I don't want to make it so the kitchen doesn't function. But they do have like paper towels out in the picture, so I will copy that at least. <laughs> oh, we need a fire alarm too. I'm not trying to burn the skinny house down. That would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrible loss that would be. Okay, I think that's the downstairs done. Upstairs is where it gets a little bit trickier because the rooms are way too small. And I don't know what the floor plan looks like, so I don't really know how I did it. It looks like their bedroom is pretty spacious. They've got like a king size bed. They've got like two nice wide nightstands. They've got a dresser. There's a TV on the wall. Like I don't, how are we meant to fit all of that in this room? <laughs> you can't even put the bed like this. Like their bed is kind of like that, or maybe like here, but your Sims can't walk around it if we do that, obviously. So we have to kind of like place the bed there instead. This is a skinny nightstand, that'll fit. Honestly, I think that their bed, it doesn't look like this one, like the headboard is different, but it's like genuinely that pattern. And it's kind of in a bluish color, so we should, let's keep that. Their wood's a different color in the house. Oh, that's not gonna fit at all. Let's scoot this door over. Like they used a more yellow toned wood in here, but you just can't have the best of both worlds. Like you pick the wood color or you pick the bed color, like you just can't have them all. The lamp kind of looks like that. They, of course, have two nightstands, but our room is too small for that, so we unfortunately do not relate. <laughs> yeah, honestly, how do they fit all this in here? I can get them a desk. They do have a desk. It's got like an iMac on it. Wait, we can put this one down. That kind of matches. The chair is black, so we can put that. They need a dresser, but I'm really nervous to put a dresser because they're so, like, they can't walk through here if there's a dresser. I don't know if you can actually have, like, I honestly don't think your Sims can walk there. Maybe they could walk like this. If we scoot things far enough into the walls, just enough to not clip, they might be able to walk through. Might is the keyword. They got some more of those flowers on the dresser too. Like, remember these from the toilet? They got like some flowers on the dresser. We can pick better ones. We could pick like maybe these. Yeah, there you go. That looks great. <laughs> maybe a desk lamp, that would be nice. Okay, that works. Master bedroom. The other room is much uglier. <laughs> the other room has this brown carpet that I hate. They've got like a wire bed frame. We don't have any double beds that have like the wire, wire, metal I mean, metal bed frame. I guess we could put a single bed. I mean, it is a small room, so it's like the best we can do. It's a single bed with a white bed frame and like brown sheets. We could always go for like white and gray sheets. It's also like this option, but that's not like, that's not the move. I think this might be the best bet. Oh, I think they've got two more bathrooms upstairs. I think there's two bathrooms upstairs. How do you fit two? Okay, no. I refuse to believe that there's two bathrooms up here. How? You're getting one. <laughs> the Sims build is getting one. You know what I am noticing though? They've got like fresh flowers and vases and all of these pictures. I know they're staging it to, to post the real estate photos, but it's nice. Like the bathroom's got some fresh flowers in there too. Okay, this bedroom also has a closet. There is literally no way that we can fit a closet in here. Frankly, I'm like offended by this. How did they do this? They have another one of the dog statues I can see in the corner. I don't even think they've got a nightstand. 
stand in here, but we can put one. There is a floor length mirror, like standing mirror. The walls are once again that white color. <laughs> they put some flowers on this. That's nice. I can't see their nightstand, so I don't know like if they even have one, but I'm gonna assume they do and I'll put a lamp on it. I think that's a safe bet. <laughs> To, to figure they've got a nightstand in there. Could we just like assume it's a kid's room and give them like a toy? I know that they don't have that blarfy thing in real life, but I'm just thinking like if you wanted to play in this house, you'd want to have at least something for your Sims kid to do so they could at least play with blarfy. Let's put that down just as like a bonus. We also can't see their hallway, but I think it's safe to assume they got another dog statue in there. I, I don't think that's a wrong assumption. Okay, and this bathroom last also has the darker gray walls. We've got like counters and two two sinks, because some, for some reason we're like made of space and money in this house. I don't know who these people are, but like, <laughs> I don't know how they managed to fit all of this in this house. There's like pink flowers on the center there. I think that's the only angle of the bathroom I can see, because there's another bathroom that only has the one, like one counter with a shower and toilet. So I guess I could just try and combine the look of them. Although, oh, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I don't know where to put the shower. It's like not a good spot, because this window, oh no. I don't think we can pull off the the double sinks. It was nice in theory. It's not gonna work in practice. <laughs> Do you know what else is terrible? These counters are on a diagonal wall now, so they're like dark and weird in the back. Although, if we put the mirrors back, Origin requires a critical update. Oh dear. <laughs> I guess my computer's back online now. <laughs> but if we put the mirrors down, it covers the like darkness in the back. That kind of helps. Okay. I think we could fit a bathtub. We can have a bathtub. I don't know if the bathtub will be functional, but I think we can have it like with the toilet. I think your Sims can walk there. And there's like a brown bath mat they've got too. So we could copy that. Okay, it works. We could follow the trend of putting flowers on the toilet. I like that. It dresses the face up a little bit, you know, putting some flowers up there. Maybe I'll start doing that. I never put things like on the back of the toilet in my Sims builds. I probably could. It's a nice touch. <laughs> okay, I think the build is done. I don't know what the back of their house looks like. There are simply not pictures of it, <laughs> so I got no idea what to do there. We can assume they've got a backyard, I guess. Maybe if we just put some more trees. We can make it a smaller backyard so it's less like obnoxious. But yeah, we could just put some more trees down and like assume it looks like that. I really don't know what to put. Maybe some landscaping. I mean, not everybody's got like really fancy patios and stuff in their backyards. And the same as we've got a tendency to like go all out with the landscaping and like give our Sims like these beautiful, amazing backyards and perfectly paved patios with pools. But like not everybody's got that. And these people are from Deerfield, Illinois. So like they don't need a pool, they'll be fine. <laughs> Honestly, in my opinion, pools are just a hassle. Like, why would anybody want to have one of those? The work to clean it up and stuff, like, I'm not interested. Honestly, I kind of hate the landscaping. This is what I get for trying to wing it. They can have some more mulch back here. If there's one thing the skinny house loves, it's mulch. That's way too much. <laughs> I put way too much. I guess we could put it all the way underneath this first. And then we just kind of like, I don't know, the landscaping looks bad. It's okay. Just don't look too closely at it. Fine. Fine. It's done. I don't care. It's done. It's done. It's fine. And you know what? I don't think we did so bad. <laughs> I think that it turned out all right. I mean, look, look at that. Look at that. You know? Nice work team. Oh, I can put it on the gallery. <laughs> Skinny house. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. I don't know. I'm done. Oh, connect. Is my internet still... Okay, never mind. It won't go on the gallery yet, but eventually I'll post it for you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oops. And on that note, I am going to go. If you've got any more ideas for like silly houses we could try and build, let me know in the comments down below. And I'm so sorry that the inside isn't right. I tried my best, okay? I tried my best. Okay, bye. I cannot get over the outside. It's like so easy to make this accurate in The Sims. <laughs> the front of the house looks so good.